All right, hey guys, welcome back. This is Ivan from BrainyBits.com. Uh, today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect and use an RTC uh, real-time clock module. This one is based on the DS1307 uh, to keep time. Uh, basically, sometimes if your Arduino loses power, you put it to sleep to save battery. This little guy will keep time even though the Arduino has no power. So when the power comes back, it will have the right time and date to get to your Uno. Now let's look at these modules a little bit more closely. This module actually has a battery backup. When you lose power, the battery will keep the time running. Uh, most of these modules use the LIR2032 battery, which is a rechargeable battery. Now the LIR2032 can be hard to find sometimes and they're more expensive compared to the, let's say the 2032 that I have here, which is a fairly common battery. Same size, except this one is not rechargeable, and the one that's supposed to be in here is supposed to be a rechargeable battery because the module will charge the battery when it's connected to power. Now, you should never use a CR2032 battery inside here because the charging circuit will try to charge this battery, it will get hot, and it might explode, but at least it'll damage your battery. So what we did when he started this tutorial, we found out that the LIR2032 battery that we had was defective and not keeping a charge. So basically what we did, we modified the module by removing the charging circuit. So we removed a little bit of components here to actually enable us to use a CR2032. Now if you go to our website, you'll see an image before and after which component we removed to enable us to, do, uh, to use a CR2032. Now these are surface mount components. It's not hard to do, but it's very small, so you'll need at least you know, magnifying glass and a pair of tweezers to actually remove the components. It's not hard to do, you just take your time and be patient. And uh, basically that's what we did to enable us to do this tutorial with a 2032 battery. So check it out. If you have an LIR2032 already with your module, you don't need to do anything. These guys were made for those types of batteries. So just make sure. So there we go, that's for that. Now the RTC we're using here uses the I2C bus, so we need two lines only. And these goes to A4 and A5 on our Uno. The OLED display that we're gonna display the time and date is the same one, same connections that we used in our last tutorial. So if you wanna take a look at that tutorial, you can uh, go ahead and check that out. And again, we're using a breadboard to split the power and ground from the Uno to both of these modules. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to use a library for this guy. And the library comes with a little sketch that's called set time, because we need to tell it the time to begin with. And it'll take the computer, computer's time and date and put it in the RTC module. And then once that is done, we'll upload our main code for the displaying of the information right here. So we'll cut here, take a look at that code, see how it works, upload it to our Uno, and then we'll come back and look at the results right here. So, see you soon. All right, the uh, code window we're going to use. So, we're going to go in example because we need to set the time on our little clock. So, we're going to go into this library. Now, first, you need to download these libraries that are needed for our tutorial. So, we have the time library. We have the RTC library. And we're also using the UHG lib. So you need to download all these and extract them into your Arduino libraries folder. You can find a link on our website for all this, uh, these uh, libraries. So once you've done that, just restart your IDE software. Then you go in File, Example, and we're going to find a DRTC. And we're going to do the set time. And there it is. So basically all this does is takes the time from your computer and puts it on the little RTC module. So we're going to upload it right away. We don't need to change anything in here. So we're just going to click Upload to our Uno. Wait for it to finish. And there it is. So we're going to open the serial monitor. And there we go. Configure time and date. So that's good. So we're going to close that out. Close this guy. We don't need him anymore. And then we're going to do a read test to make sure it works fine. So we're going to do read test, which is another little piece of code and we're going to upload that also to our Uno and see if it gets the time. 
and finish. So we open the serial monitor again. And there we go. Read test. It's reading time, getting the date. So that's done. So now we're all set to go to the main code and upload to our Uno. So let's go take a look at that. All right, the main code that we're going to use to do our tutorial. Now, if you've seen the last video on the OLED display, this is basically the bitmap information that we're going to put on the display. So this is the information that the uh, draws the bitmap. So we're going to start at the top. We're including four libraries today. So we have the OLED library, the wire library, which for the I2C communication, time, which is used for time manipulation, and the DS1307, that's for our little RTC clock module. Uh, we're defining two buffers here, one for the time, one for the date, because we're going to format the time and then put it into this variable here. Same thing for the date. And we have two types of year display, so year with two digits, meaning 2015 would be 15, and four digit would be the whole thing. Then we initialize the library for the OLED. These are the pins that we are connected to on our UNO. And then we have the main draw function that puts the information on the OLED. So we're putting the bitmap information. Then we're selecting a font that is included into the UHG library. There are multiple fonts available for this library. You could check that out if you want to use a different one. Then we set the position of our cursor for, and then we display the time that we put into the time buffer here. Then we're setting the position again so we can display the date uh, underneath that. Now, if you look at the main loop here, if RTC read, meaning are we getting an information from our little module? If yes, then continue. So we're doing the two year digit. Now, as you can see, year two digit equals TM dot year. This will return a value of 45, not 2015. The way this works is that it gives you the number of years elapsed since 1970. That's the way it works. So since we're 2015, the number of years elapsed since 1970 is 45. Now, to give us the right year, we're going to do TM year minus 30. So 45 minus 30 will give us 15 for a two-digit year variable. And for the four-digit, it will be TM year 1970, which will give us 2015. Now, if you want to use four digits, just comment, comment this line out, comment this line instead. Now we're using sprintf. Basically all this does is that it formats a string and puts it into a variable. So in this case, time buffer will receive the value, formatted value of this here. So the way this works, percentage is an integer. Putting a zero here, meaning give me a leading zero. So let's say when it's seconds, let's say we're at two, three, four seconds. Instead of displaying just four, we're going to display zero, four, zero, five, and so on. So we're doing this for all these. So TM hour will be formatted like this. And then we put a column. And then TM minutes will be formatted the same way, column, and so on. And we do the same thing for date buffer, So, but putting a slash instead. So if you want to do a four digit, just replace this with four, comment this out, comment this. And then we call the main draw function that will put the information on the OLED display and a delay of one second before doing the loop again. So there you go. That's the way this works. So we're going to upload that code to our Uno and then uh, go take a look at the result on our breadboard. So let's uh, go take a look. OK, so we're back to our breadboard. We set the time on the RTC module using the set time. And then we use set read to actually make sure that the time was correct. And then we uploaded the main code that will display the information on the OLED. Right now, the Arduino is not plugged in. So basically, this guy is not getting any power except from the battery that's installed in it. So we'll see if it's keeping the time. So I'm going to plug in the Uno right now. There we go. And there you are. The code is running. We're getting the right time, right date, and the seconds are ticking. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to unplug it again. Let it rest for a little bit. This guy is not getting powered, so basically it's being powered by the battery, the CR2032 that we modified it for. And I'm going to plug it back in. And there we go, the time keeps running. 
So there you go. That's a simple way to add, add the time and date to your next Arduino project. Uh, we did a little, we put these guys in buffers so we could format them properly. Like you saw in the code, we're using the two digit uh, variable to put 15, but you could change the code and use the four digits so it would say 2015 2015 instead. So when it goes to zero right here, it puts a leading zero in front. So that's why we use this, uh, this method. <clears throat> so once again, guys, thanks for watching. As always, you can subscribe to our YouTube uh, channel to get notified when we post new tutorials. As always, we try to post uh, one or two tutorials every week. You can look at our website, BrainyBus.com. Click on the Tutorials tab. You'll see all the tutorials we've, did, we've done so far. Uh, you can download the schematics, the code, the libraries. Everything is there for you to get started. So once again, thanks again. My name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.